Have you ever wondered how cement is made? Let's find out in this video. It all starts at the quarry where most of the important raw materials for the production of cement are extracted. And it all starts with a bang. Raw materials for the production of cement consist of limestone, shale, and marl, which are available in large quantities in the quarries, and other ingredients such as iron ore and gypsum are obtained from mines. The raw materials are loaded onto haul trucks with a loading capacity of 60 tons each. These raw ingredients are transported in specified ratios to the crusher where they're grinded to the consistency of rough gravel. The crusher can handle 600 tons of raw materials per hour. The crushed limestone, shale, and marl are conveyed to the mixing bay where it's mixed to a homogeneous material. The homogeneous store has a radius of 81 meters and a height of 28 meters and has a blending bay which can handle 25,000 tons of mixed materials. The chemical composition of the material is carefully monitored to ensure that it contains the correct proportions of raw materials. A small proportion of corrected materials are added to the mixture if the proportions differ from those specified by the quality department. Essential additives such as iron ore are added to the homogenized limestone, shale, and marl material and this mixture is then conveyed to the raw mill where it's grinded to a fine powder which is known as raw mix. The mixture is dried by means of the excessive heat generated from the pyro process. The materials for clinker production are milled using roller mills instead of the traditional bore mills. The roller mills save about 30% on the total electrical power consumption compared to traditional bore mills. The raw mix is tested once again to ensure that the chemical composition is correct in terms of the quality directives once the raw mix has passed the test in the laboratory. It is conveyed to the preheater. The raw mill silo has a capacity to store 7,000 tons of raw mixture powder. Once the raw material has been processed in the preheater, it enters the 54 meters long rotary kiln, where the material is burnt to clinker at temperatures in excess of 1,450 degrees Celsius. The rotary kiln can produce 2,100 tons of clinker per day. The clinker is now cooled down by using a method of air quenching in a great cooler. After the cooling process, the clinker is stored in a clinker silo with a capacity of 55,000 tons. The clinker is dosed with an appropriate quantity of gypsum and extended with high-grade limestone. Limestone extension significantly reduces the carbon footprint of the cement products. Finally, the mixture is milled to cement by using two cement mills. Each cement mill can produce up to 65 tons per hour. Cement products are then stored in different cement silos. Each silo has a capacity of 7,500 tons. This ensures the continuous availability of all cement products. A fully equipped chemical and physical laboratory takes samples of intermediate and final products at different stages of the cement manufacturing process to ensure maximum product quality. The laboratory consists of 11 sampling stations, which handles more than 140 samples per day, 7 days a week. Each cement type produced is subjected to an array of tests to ensure a consistent world-class performance. Once the quality is ensured, the next process is to pack the cements in 50 kilogram bags. 
The bags are then arranged on a pallet in batches of 40 bags per pallet. Thereafter, it's shrink-wrapped for additional protection against weather conditions. The pallets are now ready to be dispatched and are loaded onto the trucks. Bulk cement is available in loose form and is transported by road, rail, and sea. Every step of the entire production process at the cement plant from the quarry to dispatch is continuously monitored and controlled by highly qualified personnel in the control room. When required, any part of the cement making process can be adjusted immediately to ensure that the highest quality standards are met. Now let's summarize the entire cement production process. This is a schematic presentation of the whole cement manufacturing process. Raw materials such as limestone, shale, and marl are collected at the quarry and transported to the crusher. From here it's conveyed to the mixing bay where it's mixed to homogeneous material. Additives such as high-grade limestone, sand, and iron ore are added and then conveyed to the raw mill where it's dried and ground to a fine powder. Now the raw mix is transferred to the preheater. Here the material is preheated after which it enters the rotary kiln, where it's burned to produce clinker. The clinker is cooled down with air in a great cooler and then stored in the clinker silo. Additives such as gypsum and limestone are added to the clinker before being milled in the cement mills to the final cement product. The cement powder is stored in the cement silos. From here, the final stage is the bagging or bulk dispatch of the cement. So this was the whole production journey of cement, from raw materials all the way up to the finished product. Let us know which manufacturing process you like the most in the comments below, and don't forget to watch our other videos.